Now, in this part, we're asked to find the kernel of this transformation. Uh, so the first thing would be just to remember what a, a, the kernel of a transformation is. And so the, the kernel of T is the collection of vectors. I'm going to put this in a more general sense. The collection of vectors V such that the transformation of the vector V is equal to the zero vector. So that's, that's the kernel. Uh, in this case, it's the set of polynomials such that t of p, which is equal to the vector p of 0, p of 0, by the definition of this vector space, is equal to the 0 vector 0, 0. So the real condition on a polynomial p being in the kernel of this transformation is that p of 0 is equal to 0. Uh, OK, now remember, the polynomial p belongs to uh, p2. So that's the collection of polynomials with degree 2 or less. So any polynomial in that set has the form a times t squared plus b times t plus c. So just some generic quadratic polynomial here. Now, I, I keep saying 2 or lower. It's possible that a is 0, and maybe we have a linear polynomial, or even just a constant function would also fall into this category if a and b were 0. But any polynomial in P2 could be described in these terms where a, b, and c are, are some real numbers. All right, so we'll just take a, a vector of that form. Now, p of 0, then, would be a times 0 plus b times 0, if we substitute 0 for t, oops, b times 0, plus the constant c. And so if we're looking at the kernel and we want p of 0 to be 0, then the result here is that c must be 0. So for any polynomial in the kernel of this transformation, c must be 0. So if p is in the kernel of this transformation, then it's got to have the form p of t must look like this. Some number a times t squared plus some number b times t, but the constant term is 0, so we just drop that. So, so far we know that the polynomials uh, in the kernel all have this form right here. All right, but we are asked to find a spanning set for the kernel. So we need a specific set of vectors so that any polynomial in the kernel, so any vector of this form, is a linear combination of those vectors. Well, so the thing that uh, maybe immediately comes to mind here, we, we basically have this thing expressed as a linear combination of the vectors, um, let me call it p1, which is just t squared, and p2, which is just t. Um, the way that we have described the kernel right here is the set of all linear combinations of those two polynomials, some constant times t squared plus some constant times t. So this would be a spanning set for the kernel. The kernel of this transformation t is equal to the span of the polynomials t squared and t.